Hello, um, down in the coppice I'm doing an operation called crown lifting. This is one of the wild cherry trees, or we planted this one, um, uh, finally five of these to make a little group. Or oh, I think about seven or eight years ago now, they do look lovely. Um, but I'm doing an operation called crown lifting, and that means I'm going to take the lower branches out to enable the crown of the tree, that's the bit where the branches come out higher. There are two reasons to do that. One is to allow a bit more light underneath them, but also mainly so that in the long run, perhaps 20 years from now, who can tell, um, these trees will go into a really long, tall, straight piece of timber, which will be of economic value. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean later. Anyway, to get the old saw out, and um, this is the right time of year to do it. Late, um, well, May time, late May, where it's growing quickly. And I'll seal the wounds. Moses, quite straightforward. Make a cut close as you can. With a big branch, make an undercut first. Or else hold it to stop it tearing away. The cut wants to come away at a slight angle. Just right up against the collar. Gonna make an undercut here because this one's a bit thicker. Right, I'll just show you what I've done. The crown of the tree, that's up here. It's what they call a crown, just there. I'll take the little one out too while I'm at it. I've lifted the crown, uh, and these cuts have been made right up against the collar and slanting at a slight angle. And uh, if you make them too early, you'll get a bit of um, more risk of fungal disease. This is some stuff called um, a heel and seal, or seal and heel by Arbrex. Arbrex used to make this uh, really nice stuff um, that we used to use. It was solely of water, solely of tar stuff, but due to our uh, culture of uh, over regulation. The European Union decided to ban products containing tar. I don't want to go on about that sort of stuff. It basically means that we now have to pay more for a product that isn't as good. And all the side of health and safety fascists. Uh, but anyway, we'll see how well this does. See how it does. Alright then, I think that will do for now. Let's put the, the label back, top back on before I lose it. See, it's just beginning to get some cherries as well. I suppose you could argue I should have allowed these cherries to ripen and let the birds eat them uh, before I cut the tree down. But I think mean, I did what I did, uh, just to give you an idea of the actual there's the height and the shape of this tree now see that's my head there I'm just about six feet tall see the cut difference between this tree which has been crown lifted and the one next to it and uh, I'll just show you well show you the one I did earlier two I did earlier in fact uh, these are a couple of um, big cherry trees. These were planted a little longer ago. Uh, this was actually a wild tree that we saw uh, growing wild, uh, from a, no doubt from a cherry pip, by the side of the road. So I can't quite get my arm around that. Um, and it's nearly as thick as me. Well, not quite, not, it's not quite that thick, actually. Um, and the crown is... Um, 
at about 10 feet tall. And basically what that means is, and there's a tr another one, his neighbour, his sister if you like, next to it. Maybe I could crown lift that a little bit more, but I'm not sure I will now. Uh, you don't want to take the younger growing branches off too early in uh, the life of the tree. Um, it's a judgment call exactly when to, to, do that, to do it. But basically you can see dead in the centre of the picture from the, the roots to the top uh, to the crown that is to say. There's a piece of wood there, it's about eight feet long. It's very round and in time uh, I don't know how long, that tree is 17 years old now, perhaps in another 15 years, perhaps during my lifetime, perhaps not, uh, but you know, we plant for the next generation, we should plant for the next generation, we shouldn't borrow for the next generation to pay back, we should invest for the next generation to have something uh, from us. Um, that should make a really beautiful uh, piece of tree to be cut down. Yes, we believe in cutting trees down to use them, uh, but you have to plant them in the first place and you can enjoy them for decades, timber trees, before they're cut down and that's the way to go. Um, and uh, they will be able to make beautiful veneer for um, uh, furniture, and perhaps one of them might even grace the front of a Les Paul guitar. It might be that lucky. And uh, I so liked these two trees that I planted another five cherry trees. There's a couple of other odd trees here. That's a couple of that's a horse chestnut, and I'll probably take that down uh, later. But I won't bother to do it just yet. Okay then, signing off from this little cherry grove.